We're in the Riverland of South Australia on the Mighty Murray. The farm's now owned and run by myself and my two brothers. We've got around 100 hectares of citrus. With Citrus, you're trying to grow a quality product for the customers. We're very much the grower, and we work with an expert packer to pack and market our fruit. Depending on the season, we're anywhere from 50% export to 70% export. The customer is more and more connected these days to the food they put in their mouth, whether it be the health benefits, the nutritional benefits, and the environment, especially with a new generation, being really connected to, to the environment and, and really wanting to know how that produce has been produced that's something we want to farm with that in mind as well because that's a passion we have as well me and my brothers have, have all tried to go away and and study and bring some information back to the business to try and get science behind it as well probably the biggest thing we've done in the last five or six years is added full cover netting to our orchards originally that was done to try and get wind blemish levels down in my fruit so I could have more class one pack out. It's also helped us as a hail barrier as well and it just takes the extremes out of the, the heat in summer as well. Looking at what's coming with climate change, for us it's a way to mitigate those extremes. Vapotranspiration is down quite a bit. I should be saving around 30 to 35 percent on water but we're getting quite a good yield increase under our netting as well. It does create a really nice environment under here, not just for the trees but also for some bugs as well. We'll use beneficial releases when we need to of, of aphytis and other mites that will attack thrips. I'm trying to maximise the areas that I can harbour and feed my beneficial insects on and a mid-row cover crop mix is, is quite integral to that and we integrate that with an agronomist that we use and a, and a pest scout that um, is geared towards our model of trying to be as soft as we can on the environment and allow our beneficials to proliferate while we keep our insect pests at a low level. Some of the sprays we have to apply can be really specific to my pest insect that I'm trying to get, but then let my beneficials survive. We are looking at analysing through the season at key times and changing it on the run. To do that, we need new products. So it's definitely important guys like Corteva keep investing in their R&D to bring these products to us to allow us to then grow for the customer's um, requirements. We've headed towards drip irrigation from full cover to try and get water efficiency and, and also gives us a really good ability to precisely apply a nutrient to our root zone of our tree. We're probably more and more about how the soil can aid us to hold nutrients in it, to give the nutrients back slower. And to do that, we soil test twice yearly. We've probably in the last four or five years really started to try and pay attention to our organic carbon levels and our cation exchange capacities. Me and my brothers, we love farming. We want to make sure we are growing the best fruit we can. That's sort of um, inspiration enough for us in itself. Mm -hmm.